I did it, you guys. I reached admired with the lightning circle, which means I closed all the Pandoric cracks. And now I have to speak with Alex to move on to the next step, which should be the inner lightning circle. So I don't know if we'll get to do that today or next time, but I'm excited to find out. Let's get started. Hi, Alex. Well done, Nova. We have managed to calm down the wrath of Garnock a little bit. Thanks to your enormous effort, hopefully there will be no more cracks for a good while in the future. The Pandoric imbalance is now smaller after we have fought so valiantly against it. Finally, it is time for a little rest, but the danger is far from over right now. Any moment now, Dark Core could do something malicious again to disturb the balance, if they haven't already. You are now a full member of the Lightning Circle. Very well done, Nova. There are not many people that make it this far. You need to know that. You really are something special. Congratulations and welcome to the Lightning Circle. Thank you. Nothing beats a little rest. I've spoken to the Druids and they have a new set of directives for you. Ready to get stuck in again? Hope you're as excited as I am. I guess it all depends on what we have to do then. <laughs> Right then, my friends. What we need to do now is be vigilant. Watch and wait. Of course, we're missing our friend Anne, but Fripp and the Druids are currently working out a safe way of traveling to Pandoria to look for her. Until then, there's nothing we can do for her. It feels terrible to just sit and wait. It's unbearable to know that our friend is there and we're here doing nothing. I know how horrendous it is there. Believe me when I say that every second you're there feels like a nightmare a hundred times worse than death. I know, Lisa, I know. But it's, it's just like Alex and the Druids say, we can't do anything right now. We wait and see if the Druids can come up with a safe way. They must be able to. But if it takes too long, then we take matters into our own hands. Count on it. Agreed. Anyway, now it's time to plan and prepare whilst the enemy forges their dark plans. When they strike, we need to be prepared. Strike faster, strike harder. We want to know if Dark Core and the Dark Riders are up to something awfully suspect. The very worst thing that can happen would be if they started the dark ceremony to open the cracks between Pandoria's unreality and our reality. That would mean that the flow between the two worlds would run completely out of control and both worlds would collapse? Oh no! Or worse. I don't know what would be worse. We've got no idea when or where they're going to strike. We're not ever sure exactly how either, but Fripp and the Druids are trying to work it all out. If we get more information from the Druids, we might have some new tasks to complete. But until then, we need to stay vigilant, keep watching, and waiting. Raise the alarm and take action if something unexpected occurs. I did a little surveillance last night and found a number of suitable locations for observation. I've informed the spy master of the newly developing st situation. He and his agents, the chipmunks, or whatever else he's got working for him, are all on high alert and will let us know if they notice anything of interest. Linda, I thought you could perhaps be our liaison and base yourself out of the library where you provide the druids with your analysis of the scriptures. We'll report to you, Linda, and the best place for you right now is studying those texts and helping the druids to interpret them. Okay? Yes, Alex. I'll keep my head in the books and be ready to receive your reports, as well as keeping an eye on your observation schedules. You'll always know where I am. See you in the winery's library whenever you need me. Me, Nova, and you, Alex, we're out in the field, right? Correct, Lisa. Brilliant. Good. Then it looks like we're ready to get started. Oh, okay, what, what do I have to do? Ah, wrong way! I've got the map right here with all the observation spots marked out. I think observation station number 42 will be perfect for you, Nova. It's a great lookout spot towards the sea, and you can get a closer look at Dark Core HQ. You'll definitely see if someone's on their way towards us from Dark Core. Aha, you don't have any binoculars. You'll definitely need a pair if you're going to be able to watch properly. You can borrow mine if you'd like. I've got plenty in stock. Why? Why does she keep plenty of binoculars? I don't know. Here, you can borrow these for as long as you need them. You can use them more than once. Thanks. You can see on the map, although knowing that she has a lot in stock, you would think maybe they were disposable. You can see on the map where you should be going. It's a nice place at the southwestern corner of Paddock Island. You know, south of Jarlheim in the Harvest Counties. Okay. On our map. Ah. Here. Is this it? Are we here? 
It's not down there, right? It's this? Oh! There's a spot right there. <laughs> oh, yep. Binoculars. Done. An inclination for observation. There it is! I guess I never realized where the positioning was of the Dark Core HQ off the coast of Jorvik. I knew it was off the coast of Jorvik. I just didn't know where. And there it is. Today's observations don't seem to show anything. Oh no, so is this something I have to do daily? I have to make my way out to Paddock Island and do this? Uneventful day. I'll come back tomorrow. <gasps> but wait, who's howling like that? Who's howling? Sounds like somebody's screaming for help. Oh no, I see a clock. Help, help! <gasps> who's that? We're coming. Oh, we probably should have gone around. Oh no. <gasps> we did it. It's okay. We're here. Oh no! What happened? Sonia! Hello! Oh gosh! There you are, Nova, my friend! It's me, Sonia! How lovely to see you! You've got no idea. Ow, ow, ow! I've got such a headache! Well, it aches all over, actually. Let me tell you about it. My head hurts so much! I was out on a long ride with my horse around all of the beautiful countryside and galloped past one of the rune stones. You know, the ones that are all over the place around here? This one that's now lit up? Yes, I see. You know the ones. This particular rune stone just suddenly started making weird noises and lighting up pink. My poor horse just went crazy and ran away. I wasn't ready for it. It ended up landing on my head. Oh, oh no, Sonia, do you need a ride to town? Where my horse and helmet are? Where my, my horse is right now? I've got no idea. I guess I was just too lazy to put on my helmet before I came out. I've learned my lesson now, though. I'll never ride without a helmet again. <laughs> now I'm feeling really dizzy and everything hurts. Typical. Which runestone was the one that scared us? That one. That one over there by the seashore. The one that looks exactly like the other stupid runestones. Take a look at it, why don't you? Be sure to come back and help me afterwards, though, okay? Of course, Sonya. We probably should have taken care of her first, but... Look at this. Investigating the rune stone. I agree with you. That rune stone is definitely strange. And it's ugly. Stupid, ugly rune stone. Please, could you do me a huge favor and take me to the clinic in Jarlheim? I don't think I could get there on my own. I don't think I'm seriously injured, but you never know. Better to get the vet to look at me and see if... The vet? See if I need to head to the hospital. Could you take me back on your horse to the veterinarian in Jarlheim? Of course. Of course. So oh, poor Sonia's head hurts. Here you are, my dear. Hello there. What's happened here? Oh, no helmet. You see, kids these days. <laughs> I wonder if she knows, uh, what's his name? Professor Hayden. Now then, Sonia, you might have been lucky and only scored yourself a mild concussion, but let's have a look at you. Thanks for taking me to the vet, Nova. You're a true friend. That whole runestone thing was really bizarre. What did you say you were doing now? You're going to meet Linda and tell her your findings? Say hey to her from me. Thanks so much again for your help. I hope you get checked out there, my friend. Oh boy, Linda, do we have something to tell you? Hey, Nova, how's it going? I'm just sitting here studying a bunch of ancient texts. Mm. Yep, I get you. I reckon there's something you should talk to Alex about. She usually tells us about how she's going out and talks to the rune stones sometimes. Some kind of errand for the druids, apparently. Some kind of measurement she takes? She, she'll probably know more about why the rune stones have been behaving strangely. I'm not sure what it could all mean. You should tell Alex all about it. I have no idea where Alex is right now, though. She's not out in the field on errands, not according to my notes, anyway. Check the stables? Talk to a few of the people out there in the yard, maybe? Perhaps someone's seen her. Oh, I hope she's not missing again! Hello, Baroness, have you seen? Check the stables? Talk to a few people out in the yard? Perhaps someone's seen her. I mean, I thought maybe you had seen her. Oh, okay, okay! We'll go to the stables, man! Carney? Mm. 
Why has no one seen Alex? Yeah, she said something earlier before she and Tin Can galloped away east over. Hmm, what was it? Let me think. Oh, now I remember. Alex said something or other about family issues before she left. That nuisance James is her little brother, right? Must be some scrap he's gotten into, and she'll have to fix it up as usual. Typical James. If I were you, I'd go to Fort Pinta and talk to him. Oh, poor James. Yeah, of course. Alex, yep. Alex is going to meet our mother at the mall in your big city. She took the bus out there a little while ago. You'll be sure to find her there in a cafe, for example. It's not so often we get to see Mama these days, just so you know. She's just difficult. Always wants to borrow money from me, and that's just not happening. Man, James, all right. Uh, we didn't really need to know that. Nova, welcome. Mama, this is Nova. Nova, this is my lovely mother. Wait a second, Nova. Me and my mother are just going to finish up here. We're almost done. I'll be right there. Where were we? Yes, Mama, I've told you. You could stop thinking like that. There's nobody who cares about me anymore. I'm not only abandoned, I'm a bad mother as well. Mama, I've been abandoned by everyone. No, you know that's not true. We love you, Mama. All of your children love you. Stop saying those things. We all know they're not true. No, no, no. I'm such a terrible mother. I failed you all. Now you can really stop this. You're our beloved mother and you haven't had it easy. We all know that. That dad more or less disappeared isn't your fault and it's not our fault either. It was his choice. You had to take care of us single-handedly, which was no small feat. We all know that now. No, it was no small feat and I didn't succeed, you know. No, you can't say that. It's not easy to take care of five kids on your own. Look at us now. If I may say so myself, you did a great job. It's all thanks to you that we're here. We love life and we love you. Without you, we'd never be where we are now. We owe you everything. You really mean that? Of course, you're our mama. And you mean the world to us. So stop blaming yourself for things you had no control over. That never really have such a big effect on us anyway. You made our upbringing something special. Without you, the Cloudmill family would just be a dust in the storm. We have a lot to be thankful for. But I didn't have any money. I didn't have time to give you all the attention you needed. Listen, Mama, I've told you that you shouldn't blame yourself. You're the only person who thinks you've done something awful. Don't take our happy childhood memories away from us now by saying such terrible things. It's only you who suffers from carrying all this terrible weight. And none of it is even true, so it's wrong. Just, just stop this now. Take a look at all the good things instead. If you say so. Come on, shake it off. Just show me a smile and I'll come and celebrate Christmas with you. Smile? There you go. I knew it. There's a little smile right there. Christmas is saved. Alex. Yes, Mother? I love you too. Thank you for being here. You're certainly the wisest of us Cloud Mills. Thanks for taking time to cheer up your hopes old mother. Everything feels much better now. Thanks. Look, Alex, I, I think you have a visitor. Looks like that lovely horse girl over there wants something. <laughs> the lovely horse girl. That's us. Thanks for waiting a while, mothers, huh? <laughs> they can be so down on themselves. They never seem to understand that. You just love your parents, whatever they do. They only ever want the best for us. We know that. Even if it's not always right every time. Oh, well. I guess you didn't come here to talk about mothers and family, right? <laughs> oh. Things got a little personal there, Alex. Oh, the rune stones. Yeah, I usually measure their activity, but I've not had time recently. I suppose it's time to go out and take a look at them, though. I check the rune stones so that I can calculate how active Pandora is and whether there's a strong flow between our reality and Pandora's unreality. This is a crucial information for Fripp and the Keepers of Aideen. You're pretty advanced, and you've come a long way with the lightning circle. Maybe you could help me take the readings from the rune stones. Talk to Elizabeth about it, just to make sure she's okay with it. You'll really be needing your own rune wand by now as well. Get permission from Elizabeth and fix up a rune wand, and I'll meet you tomorrow by the rune stone there. Alright, let's go talk to Elizabeth, and let Alex have some more time with her mom. I see that you're traveling in the light of Aideen, Nova. Welcome back to my humble little village. What's on your mind this time, my friend? I can assure you that you have full permission from the Keepers of Aideen to support Alex and the others in their collection of runestone readings. Come to think of it, we should have done this before now. 
Rune wands are incredibly rare artifacts. You've been able to loan mine before now, but I can't give it away. It's time for you to have your own, but I think this is the kind of thing only Fripp can help you with. I know he's incredibly busy right now with working out what we're going to do next, as well as working out a safe way in and out of Pandoria. He'll have to find a little time to help you, though. Hey, Fripp, it's weird that no one else is here. <laughs> it looks very different. Greetings, Nova. Time is against us. The time before us was long, and the time we have left is minimal. Don't despair, though. It's right now in the moment that everything happens. You're here now, are you not? I can make this complicated, Fripp. Who really are you? Really? Who are you? And what is reality, here and now? What is it? Fripp, this is getting weird. My winding and weaving star alignments are spinning and splicing a pattern that I soon will be unable to deny. Do you know who you are? No? Who could even answer such a question anyway? Fripp must weave and knit and stitch more patterns together. Sew and braid and think and fold and count and think and think and frip, frip, frip. Rune wand, you say? Is this what he does when he's alone? <laughs> Okay, if you say so. I suppose it'll be quicker for me to just give you a wand rather than spend time telling you all the reasons why you shouldn't have one. I've seen in my timelines that you'll have one later anyway. Later, in that which we most often call the future. I'm going to open a tiny fracture right now between Pandora's unreality and our reality. They're talking about that a lot lately. It's getting a little, a little spooky. That's where your rune's wand should materialize. When you see it, hurry and grab it before the fracture needs to be closed again. Ready? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know, am I? Click. Oh. Click. Click. There it is. Click. 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 I'm clicking. It's not working. C click. <laughs> oh. Click. <laughs> I got it. So there we are, Nova, your very own rune wand. Take care of it now. Off you go to the rune stone where you're supposed to meet Alex and learn more about how to measure Pandoric activity. Or was it tomorrow that you're supposed to meet her? Tomorrow, yesterday, it's all the same. The lines cross all the time. Lines, liney whiny, liney binary, binary in time is always wobbling and bending. Him being a kind of interdimensional being is, I think, messing with his head a little bit. Just saying. All right, guys, so it is actually tomorrow that we are supposed to meet Alex next to the rune stone, and she'll tell us all about how to use our rune wand to measure Pandoric activity. I'm very excited that we've made some huge progress here in the game. I also, I know it's a little bit smaller of a storyline, but I made the next step in working with the gardeners, so we'll have to go back and check in with them at Silverglade Winery sometime in the future, maybe next time. We'll see how it goes. Let me know what you're up to and tell me which horse you think I should purchase next in the game. I'd like it to be up to you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye!